At a meeting of the Ukraine Defense Contact Group, also known as the Ramstein Group, Spanish Defense Minister Margarita Robles confirmed Madrid's decision to send missiles for Patriot anti-aircraft systems to Ukraine Robles announced at the Ramstein format meeting that Spain would be sending a new batch of large-caliber artillery ammunition to Ukraine. Spain also plans to provide additional 155mm and 120mm caliber ammunition in the coming months. Regarding Spain's contribution to Ukraine's air defense, Robles announced that a batch of long-range interceptor missiles for Patriot Systems is being sent and will arrive at a logistics base in four days, within the next two months. Spain also plans to send Ukraine machine guns, protected wheeled logistics transport, armored infantry fighting vehicles, anti-tank weapons, and field artillery howitzers, as well as anti-drone systems and leopard tanks. Spanish media reported Spain would send four missiles but the defense ministry did not say how many would be sent following appeals by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, EU governments have been urged to supply more badly needed defense systems to Kiev, especially countries such as Spain and Greece that have them in their arsenal. Russia has threatened the US over ATA CMS missiles and declared that there will be harsh responses. The long-range ATA CMS missiles that the US has supplied to Ukraine are extremely dangerous weapons, but they will not help Kiev turn the tide of the conflict against Moscow, Russian ambassador to Washington Anatoly Antonov has said. Earlier, White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told reporters that back in February, US President Joe Biden had ordered the provision of Kiev with a significant number of ATA CMS missiles for use inside Ukraine, which commenced the following month. The ATA CMS, which have a range of 300 kilometers, were transferred quietly to Ukraine in order to maintain operational security, Pentagon spokesman Major Charlie Dietz stressed. The delivery of long-range missiles to Kiev is impossible to justify, Antonov said in a post on Telegram. The move by Washington increases the threat to the security of Crimea, including Sevastopol, the new Russian regions and other Russian cities, he added. The assurances by the US officials that the long-range missiles will not be used against Russian territory are particularly cynical, the ambassador stressed. How can we ignore the numerous terrorist attacks by Kiev's criminals? Deadly strikes on hospitals, schools, kindergartens, bridges and even their own servicemen? Antonov reminded that the Russian forces have already shot down mid-range ATA CMS missiles, which Ukraine had received last September. The same will happen with their long-range counterparts, he assured, adding that neither these missiles nor other weapons can help defeat Russia. Aren't local politicians in the US afraid of drowning in the quagmire of conflict? Washington will not be able to get out of the horrible swamp that has absorbed the blood of ordinary soldiers. The ambassador warned. Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova pointed to the fact that Washington's acknowledgement of the delivery of long-range ATA CMS to Ukraine comes amid attempts by Kiev and its Western backers to deceive the international community into some kind of conference on the Zelensky formula. Washington's plan is sickeningly simple. Drag everyone into a pointless meeting under the pretext of peaceful intentions while at the same time boosting Zelensky's terrorist potential, she said on Telegram. Switzerland said earlier this month that it is going to host a peace conference on Ukraine in June without Russia's participation. The main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine burned the Russian multi-purpose Ka-32 helicopter, located at the moscow ostafivo International Airfield, which belongs to the Russian Ministry of Defense. NV writes about this, citing a source in the intelligence services, the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine has released video footage in this regard, the helicopter was used for air support of the Russian occupation army, namely to provide logistics needs and evacuation operations, the Ka-32 twin-engine, multi-role helicopter is designed by Kamov Design Bureau, a Russian helicopters company, and is produced by Comerto Aviation Production Enterprise, the helicopter can be deployed to carry out special airborne search and rescue, patrol, medical evacuation, cargo transportation, logging, complex firefighting, and transportation of landing force. It can also be used to support police, special forces, and other law enforcement units. The Ka-32 helicopter is equipped with the latest avionics systems for enhanced operations in difficult weather conditions during both day and night. The helicopter features high-precision hover capacity and maneuverability. 
The price of the Ka-32 helicopter is 16 million US dollars.